I've been taking photos of people now for around about seven or eight years. But believe it or not, when I first started, I had zero portfolio and no clue on how to actually get into portrait photography. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys some tips on getting into, getting started with portrait photography. So why would you wanna photograph people in the first place? Why get into portrait photography? Shooting portraits can actually open up some pretty rewarding and fulfilling career paths in fashion, lifestyle, and commercial photography. If you're a people person, I think these industries or sectors, sections of photography are really, really fun. They're collaborative and you can end up working with some pretty cool brands and also have access to some pretty decent budgets. I think learning to work with people, collaborating with people is a massive skill, not just in the world of photography, but just as a person in general. I remember back before I started photography, meeting new people and starting new conversations would be sort of a source of anxiety for me but now it's very easy for me to walk up and introduce myself to a new person. It's just something that over time through doing photography, I've improved a lot on. And I'm very grateful and thankful for my career in photography, especially in portrait photography, wedding photography, because it gave me those skills. First off, you'll obviously need somebody to photograph. And as I said before, I myself started off with zero portfolio, zero images to show. So what I did is I started off photographing friends and friends of friends, people in my immediate circle. Now, this is actually great to begin with, taking photos of people that you think would be great in front of the camera, because if they're a friend, you already have that rapport and that trust built with them, and it's a much more comfortable scenario than if you were to photograph with a stranger, somebody that you've never met before. But there is also a downside to photographing your friends, and that is they might not always be pursuing something, a career path, something like that, in in front of the camera. So for them, it can feel like a little bit of a chore, you dragging them out to take photos when it's not something that they would ordinarily do. So my suggestion is that you will eventually want to branch into photographing real models, people who are pursuing a life and a career in front of the camera, because it definitely feels more collaborative. That person is after really beautiful photos for their portfolio, and you have very similar goals, whether you're making a website portfolio or posting on Instagram. So how do you actually get to photograph signed models? Once you have a portfolio of images that you've been able to get from asking friends, things like that, and you've been able to show that you can at least compose an image well, you get your focus right, your exposure, your editing is on point, you can begin showing that portfolio to others. Now in my city, I live in a medium to large size city, around 2 million people. There are so many model agencies. Now you can approach the agency directly or go on their website and what you want to look for is a section for development models or new faces. And these are models who might be new to the industry or new to that particular agency. And the agency will be working on creating a portfolio for them. So this is a perfect opportunity for a new photographer and one that I've actually taken advantage of in the past as well. You can set up TFP or test shoots, which is basically yourself and the model are exchanging your time in order to create portfolio images. Images. So no money changes hands. You don't have to pay the model. The model doesn't have to pay you. It's purely just to build your portfolio. And even though I have a little bit more experience, I still love doing test shoots because it gives you the opportunity to try new ideas, experiment with you know new locations and things like that. It allows you to meet new models that are getting into the industry and also just to update your portfolio because your style and your taste generally would change over time. The great thing about photographing development models as well is that agency will usually be pushing them to do portfolio shoots. So I would suggest putting together a portfolio, whether it's using an Instagram account or getting a domain and a website with Squarespace to show your photos and sending an email to a few agencies, seeing if they need any portfolio images. And once you've built some rapport with the agency, you've done a few shoots with them, the agency can actually be a really great contact and can lead to you booking jobs in the future. Just be reliable, dependable, and try to make the best work possible for that agency. One big tip for people getting into portrait photography, maybe you've just recently lined up your first shoot with a real model, is to be very clear and intentional with the idea and what you wanna create in that photo shoot. I utilize mood boards, so I find inspiration from all around the internet, whether it's images, text, that really illustrate the idea that I'm going for. Definitely start your photo shoot creating something that is within your reach, something that you know you can create 
and then move on to the more experimental images, whether you've got a new piece of gear that you're trying out, maybe you're trying flash for the first time, do those towards the end of the shoot once you know you've got something good because it can be a bummer, not just for you, but for the model and anyone else who's involved in the shoot as well. If you are trying something super experimental and it ends up not working out and then you leave the photo shoot with basically nothing to show for it. When you're creating mood boards as well, don't be afraid to go outside of those ideas and try other things. You definitely don't want to create like a carbon copy or recreate the exact photo in your mood board, you wanna sort of use it as a guide for the look and feel of your images, and then try to put more of your personal touch on those photos. Okay, another tip is to spend your resources, I mean, money and time, on the idea of the photo shoot, whether it's a location, an outfit, maybe investing in a makeup artist or a stylist, instead of spending your money on camera equipment. Camera equipment can be important and it can help you get a certain look and feel. But definitely, if I could go back to the very beginning of my photography journey, I would spend way, way less time focusing on the equipment and what kind of lens and whether I have the sharpest possible lens with the best aperture. I would throw all that out the window and just focus on the photo shoot itself and creating something really cool. And yes, things like renting a studio can be expensive. It can run you into the many hundreds of dollars, but there are definitely ways that you can make it more affordable. For example, you could organize two photo shoots on the one day. If you have a studio for two hours, you could split that time up and get twice as many photos out of the higher session. If you're working in quite a large studio space or location, you might be able to split the higher cost with another photographer and just use different sections of the space. That's something else I've done in the past and it's worked really well to keep the cost down. I love shooting in studios. These natural light studios seem to be popping up absolutely everywhere and it really takes the pressure off finding a beautiful aesthetic location, but also a location that you know you're allowed to shoot in. I think this is true for almost every kind of photography if you're trying to break into the industry. It's not about the resources you have, it's about your resourcefulness. Take advantage of as many opportunities as you can. Reach out to small clothing brands, boutiques, jewelry designers, and ask for product in exchange for photos. At all times, whether you live in a small city or a big city, there's always going to be someone somewhere looking for photography. Teaming up with other people who are also trying to get into the industry and build a portfolio, it could be makeup artists, hairstylists, anything like that, that will definitely help you take your work to the next level. You will need to have some resilience and you have to keep trying. Not every time you reach out to a model, they're going to respond. Not every time you go out and create photos, it's going to be the most amazing thing you've ever created. And please keep in mind that on social media, photographers only show their best work. They don't show their failures. So looking at other people's work and they're always popping up with these amazing photos, it can feel really discouraging. So not every shoot is going to be a rare success but if you keep trying you will get there all right so that's it for this video i really hope you learned something if you did hit that like button down below i also have a full course on portrait photography which pretty much covers everything that i've learned over the years as a portrait photographer and that is linked down in the description below good luck with all your upcoming shoots i want to thank you guys for joining me once again and i'll see you all in the next video